Try to resize a column or the container control to see the grid automatically adjust columns so that they occupy the entire view and the horizontal scroll bar is never required. Another available mode is when no automatic adjustment occurs and the horizontal scroll bar appears if needed. This video will go over both these modes. The default behavior is automatic column width adjustment. To disable it, go to the View Settings and in the Options View category, disable the Column Auto Width option. This will make the horizontal scroll bar available if necessary. If you switch the option back to its default state, you can see how all columns are proportionally resized when you change the control's width. If you want a certain column to keep its width when these adjustments happen, enable that column's Fixed Width option. See how the category column now keeps its width, although the other columns are shrunk. As mentioned in a previous video, you can respond to column width changes using the view's column width changed event. The handler in our example adjusts the unit price column's formatting depending on its current width. If you run the app, you see how this code hides decimal places in the prices when you resize the column. But if you resize the container, the column shrinks, but proper formatting isn't applied. To fix this, you will also need to handle the grid control's size changed event. And since column resizing is due to the auto width mode, the column's width property doesn't actually change and we need to use the visible width property in the handler. Let's also add code to display an alert control with both property values so we can compare them. Now let's run the application and resize the container. As you can see, the width property remains unchanged while the visible width reflects the actual on-screen size and thus allows the formatting code to work.